Hey guys, it's me, Monkey Chicken here, back with another pot of mine shaft. Uh, we had some pretty epic things go on if you guys missed the stream, and uh, I apologize if I've been uploading lately. And the reason being is, I have been doing a lot of streaming lately on my Twitch account. Um, there's a link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. I stream pretty much every single day. I start anywhere between like 2 and 5, but that was because I was uh, off for a week. So it might change a little bit, but so far, things have been going really well on my Twitch account. Things are going pretty well. Getting a lot of people there, a lot of responses. People are enjoying the streams, if you guys want to check it out. I usually either stream um, Mineshaft like you're seeing me play here, which is why sometimes I don't upload. I'm like, hmm, should I upload today? Or should I just go and stream what I'm going to do? And usually I choose to stream because I feel it's a better interaction. You guys can tell me things right here and now and what's going on. But uh, this isn't a shameless plug for my Twitch account. This is going to be for us playing. So if you guys missed it, we were supposed to fight the Wither. But to, well, due to an unfortunate accident, due to and Marchy <laughs> or Andrew, we lost the Wither skulls and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go and move on from that and uh, Basically there was no fight and I didn't feel as equipped enough So I want to kind of go ahead and get started on that trying to um, build my own supplies because as I sit right now I think if we were to all fight, I don't know if I'd come on top and I don't know if I like uh Like feeling that way. So I decided for this episode. We're gonna go ahead and get into brewing potions and whatnot so, with that, let's go and start getting all the necessary materials we need. I actually have um, the crafting wiki, I guess it would be called, open to see what I would need to do in order to uh, get this done. And it seems like blaze rods would be the thing. So, I'm not too sure how to do this. I know the formula and whatnot, but I don't know it would be the, the best or proper way to do so. Um... So I know that each one gives you three potions, and I definitely want to do it in this room. And I'm thinking about changing this into black stained glass and, like, making it really dark and mysterious and whatnot. Because um, we'll also have the enchanting table down here. And I'm planning to actually change it up a lot down here. But for now, this shall do. Um, I'm planning to change this room. But for now, we shall... Ooh, can I not place it there? There we go. Okay. Three down there. Okay. So now, and this is a little trick that I've learned from my... Good buddies in my faction, how to do certain things. Give me one moment as I look for another bucket. I could have sworn that I had two. I should actually have quite a few. Eh, look, my bow, and I didn't know it. <laughs> um, we should have plenty of links around. Hopefully, we should. I haven't been exactly wood cutting, chopping, slicing up them planks as it were. I've been doing that lately, so I may have to get back on that. Yes, I may. So, oops, sorry, wrong click. I have not been up to this. Okay. E beam. Let's see. I should. I should have some like somewhere. Oh, my goodness. I am the all this organization and nothing to follow through with it. Oh my goodness. A huge letdown. Oh, that's not enough. Let's re go through the chests. I feel like a failure. I don't have any. Any planks? Or any nothing? No wood whatsoever? My goodness, what has what have I let my house become? My god, it's starting to become a hobo shack. I mean there's absolutely nothing in here. My goodness. What a horrible disappointment. Well I guess this will this will have to oh wait, let's grab some I guess regular slabs if you were. Uh, I guess that'll have to do for now. Man, that sucks. I had uh had a pretty good thing going there for a while. Okay, so this is basically the little trick that my friends over in my faction taught me. Was that if you were to do this and this, you can have an infinite water source. Because if you guys don't know, you need uh, water bottles in order to make the potions. And this is kind of a cheap and dirty way of having an infinite water source right next to all your potions. So, yeah, it's pretty nifty. I like it. Okay, so we're going to have all our potions right there. Uh... We really do not have. Hmm. We don't have glass bottles, but we should have tons of glass. There we go. That should do it. And I think when I make this particular pattern, yes, it does give us three. I was hoping so. Okay. So now we have tons and tons of potions, or at least uh, bottles. 
So we need a total of three to go into here. Ooh, I just realized we're going to need nether warts to also do this. Ooh, this is going to get a little bit tricky. I'm not too sure if I have any nether warts. So we may actually redesign this base right now. Hmm. Let me see. Nether warts, nether warts, nether warts. Nether warts. Do we not have any nether warts? No, we do not. Wait. There we go. Yes, we got nether warts. Yay. Okay. I'm not too sure if you can build me on nether warts, but I figure that it's worth a shot. I'm going to want an axe. Man, I'm going to have to redesign that downstairs area because I got some big, big plans for it. Uh, I sworn that I had an axe in one of these chests that I was about to break. Uh, I guess it'll do. I'm not too sure if I'm floating directly underneath me. Ooh, I need some. I need some sustenance. And, and done. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking about. I guess. Oh. I can't move these weights. Do I have silk touch? Yes, I do. And I think this works even on these, correct? Yes, it does. Okay. Because if you guys don't know, if you break bookcases without having a uh, silk touch on, it'll actually break them down into books. So you'd have to re-get more planks, and that'd be very, very expensive for me. So I would prefer not to do that. Um, I'm not too sure if I actually need an enchanting table here. Although I can see the very vast benefits for it because, you know, I kind of do a lot of enchanting here. You know, I have a farm. I have well, multiple farms here. So I guess I should keep it here, but I think I'm going to have to redesign it for this room. I know most certainly that I want to turn this into Nether Warts farm, but I also know Nether Warts can only grow on soul sand, which slows you down, which is uh, kind of annoying. So I'm not 100% on how I'm going to get all this done. I'm fairly sure I'll leave a path this way all the way up to here. I'll leave that alone. And then I think for the rest of it, I'll have nether warts. Maybe I'll leave a too wide area all the way around through here. Or I might have to expand it. I'll expand three wide so that you can walk a little bit easier. So it'll be like right there. For the reason being that we'll have pressure plates along here. You know, for the for holding back the water, as you guys can imagine. So the brewing stands are here, so the water. Pressure plates to hold back the water. And then here, another walking path. And uh, all the rest can be nether warts and try to keep it out of the way. Hopefully that will work. Oh wait, that needs to also be a plank. Okay, so then we would have to move it in this general direction. Uh, I guess we could fill up our two buckets really quickly. This way we don't have to do it later on. But we should definitely get rid of this water source because it is kind of unsightly to have there. Oh wait, uh, we actually need those there. Okay, let's see if we can actually get the outline of what we're planning to do before we actually chop things up as it were or before that axe actually breaks i'm fairly sure i have another axe but i'm not 100 percent but now that we're getting towards the end we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful we'll leave it like that because i'm fairly sure that i might put the enchantment table back there um right here because i think this could work just as well i'm fairly sure you don't need too many for the enchantment table to work and i think having it in this back corner will do uh will do just nicely so it would be right there would be the enchantment table. I think as long as we leave it somewhat open, it should look just fine. Uh, let's actually place it down. Oh, we haven't picked it up. I'm not 100% sure if it needs silk touch, but I'm going to go and use it anyways. So let's go and place this thing. Dun, 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 dun. Be right there. We might get a pumpkin and uh, make a jack-o'-lantern because I think that looks uh, much better. So there, and all we need is two more. And I think by doing it this way, it makes it look a little bit more open. And I think a little bit nicer, maybe. We might change the flooring here just a little bit, just to um, make it a little, a little more spookier, if you will. So we only want this too wide, because we definitely want a big enough farm of nether wards so that we don't have to really worry about a supply. But we also, we're going to have to knock this out. There we go. Okay. Oh, our pickaxe broke. Let's quadruple check to see if we have any more. Um... I don't know if I put in the random chest. Oh, <laughs> earlier today, Mark uh, threatened to blow up my base, so I carefully hid my TNT and gunpowder supplies from everyone. Shh, don't tell anyone about that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it all back inside here. Okay, 
so let's go back to trying to locate another axe. Because I would rather not spend the time trying to dig all that out myself. We do have a regular iron axe that we could use. Uh, I fear that we do not have a diamond to smith. So we will have to work on getting that done. But uh, that will be later on. So let's go mine the rest of this out. We only want this 2 wipe like I just mentioned earlier. So that we can actually just leave most of this for the actual nether wards farm itself. So that should be uh, the most profitable. And speaking of which, let's actually start placing some of this down. This way we can actually uh, try to get as much clone. And if you guys can't tell, it actually has a face in it. Or at least it looks like it to me. I know in some texture packs, it actually puts the faces themselves. And I can kind of see the face itself. Can you guys see it? You know, like, there's an eye, there's an eye, and there's a mouth. You know, once again, right here. It, it looks like soul sand. Or it looks like there's souls inside that sand. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's actually see. Can we place ladders on these? Yes, we can. Okay, that works out in there. Uh, so sand, so sand, so sand. Boom, so sand. And I'm fairly sure you can't break nether warts. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go and get these things planted. And the whole idea of this passageway is so that you can walk at normal speed. Because as soon as you hit the soul sand, it kind of slows you down. But, in the end, I might make a beacon and do speed potions um, just for the soul sand. I think that might help. But then again, people might get accustomed to the super speediness and be like, oh my god, this whole sand looks slows you down. Although, you'd probably be walking at a uh, normal pace. But, let's uh, go and place this. I'm fairly sure it doesn't fall, though. Yeah. I wasn't too sure if it had the same properties as sand, because I have not really worked with potions too much. Because when I did leave Minecraft originally um, to go play other games, it was right as potions and enchanting and other stuff started coming in. It was actually back when uh, when you enchanted, or when you actually leveled up and you got those numbers, it really didn't give you much, like uh, enchantment tables were just coming in. That's when I left, and so were potions. It's way back when, so I haven't really used these guys too much. And I'm not too sure if bone meal works on these. But I, and I kind of like how the fog comes over the soul sand. It looks cool. I might even expand it out to there, push it back a little bit, and maybe make that into a farm. Not too sure. We'll see how it looks. But um, I'm liking how it's going so far. It looks uh, looks pretty nice. Oh, these last three. I want to save the actual brewing stands. So to make the basic potions, we're gonna have to do that. Uh, put one in there, and then put one in there. Okay. So let's go and knock out the rest of these. Okay, and then we'll cut from there. I'm not too sure if people will find this annoying or kind of cool, but uh, I like it so far. Since it's all finished, I think uh, everyone will enjoy it. And once we put the, the black stained glass in there, and hopefully it'll all look in this place up, I will definitely leave some lights in here, maybe redstones or something, to make this place brighter so that you know mobs don't spawn but whenever i make like enchantment wounds or potion wounds or anything like that i always like making it as dark as possible without having mob spawning because i think it uh it adds to that mysteriousness to which is you know enchantment and you know quote unquote witchcraft but yeah that might just be me so we're gonna leave it up to here for the soul sand and we'll have all this area for the nether warts which i think isn't too bad and I think, you know, here, what do you guys think? So basically, you can come up here and be like, oh yeah, let me walk this way, hit the potions, hit the potions, because this is all going to be a walkable space. Hit the potions, hit the potions. Or if, um, you know, I come up here and you want to see my house, you know, I have a straight walkway straight up through here. Boop, there you go. Or, you can come straight and use the enchantment table, which should be a full level 30. Yes, it is. So, it leaves everything open, looks really nice. And, yeah, I like, I like the way this is going. Uh, maybe we should just cut off that soul scent. This way it just has that unified path look to it. I don't know, I was just trying to max it out. Put in the comment section below, guys. What do you think? Should I cut off this soul sand and just make it so that it kind of looks the same all the way across the board? Or just try to get that little extra bit of nether warts? Um, are these maxed out? I don't believe so. I think there's three stages, and this is only two stages. So we'll wait just a little bit longer, and, uh... We'll see how far we get with those while we're still recording. I believe Nether Warts grows some of the fastest in the game. I'm fairly sure, as far as I'm aware of. I know weed takes quite a while. I believe now they have like five stages now. And sugar cane, I know it takes, once you plant it, it takes a while. And trees, 
trees are random. It could be like plant, turn around, turn back. Oh my god, it's grown. Or it could be like ages and ages and ages before it's actually fully grown. So, me, I've always found the nether warts grow pretty fast. Okay, knock out those final ones. Okay, let's place the soul sand. There we go. Oh, we're gonna need just a wee bit more. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. And we're definitely gonna have to murder some octopuses this way we can get the black stained glass, because I know um it's gonna take quite a bit of black ink. I was hoping that you know we get the ink sacks, you'd actually break it up because you can only get like one or it may be one when you're killing them, but not much you can do there. I don't know why I'm over here. I need to go into the soul sand. Which is right here. Come on, what are you doing? I'm sorry, don't make fun of me. I'm a simple monkey dragon lost in this crazy mixed up world. <laughs> uh, this should be adequate. Hmm, I might actually change the, the paths to redstone. Just to make it that much more creepier. And I think the redstone will provide enough light. Let me actually see how much redstone I do have. Because I know I definitely do want to get into redstoning. Here we go. Um, ooh, I have my brightness all the way up, but... Is there a way for me to go into a dark room and see? I think I can go... I think it'll still show me shadows if I... if need be. So... Oh, and I still need to organize these guys. These guys are freaking crazy. Okay, so... Let's block this torch. in. So if you guys see... See how it got a little bit brighter, even though I really didn't uh, do much? That's the test. Okay. So. Does it not give you light? I guess not. I thought it'd give you light, but, um. Apparently, no, it does not. Whatever. How much I can do. That's my redstone work. Don't look at it. Shut your eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to organize these guys. I was actually thinking about doing a floor by floor thing where, you know, this whole floor or uh, shrink it up or you could make the things bigger and have, you know, like, the, the colors of rules that are kind of associated with it, you know, red and pink, and I could do the pink, purple, and then down here it could be like all the blacks, you know, black, gray, light gray, then white, you know, just have those four in a thing, you know, just stuff like that. I was thinking something along those lines. Just this way, you know, you can get more wool when you go down there, because sheep, they're kind of random, and they do resupply their wool to you, if you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, what potion should we actually make? I'm not 100% sure. Because we definitely already have our, our awkward potions. Should we do regeneration, speed? I'm thinking speed would be the best one. So we can move around and make things faster. So there's some sugar, and lucky enough for me, I have a sugar cane farm next to me. Um, I think insta health really shouldn't be too much of a thing. Um, maybe if we're fighting with it. Okay, you're a guy. What are you, uh, what are you doing down here, bub? I may not have a freaking sword on me, but I can still claw your eyes out with my dragon pick. <laughs> Woohoo! There's a creeper. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys. Oh, we need insects. We're gonna do this while we're here. This river isn't too deep, so I wasn't too sure if these guys would even come here. Oh my goodness, there's quite a bit. There's quite a, quite a bit. We can actually stay underwater a long time now because I, um, prepping for the, the nether fight or the wither fight, I equipped some of my best armor that I had. Protection 3 feather falling, protection on breaking, thorns, and respiration. So we can now stay underwater for a very, very long time. So collecting these uh, insects shouldn't be too big of a deal. Though granted, I am wearing down one of my better picks. So let's actually sw switch out to an iron axe so that we don't waste too much. Oh, God. I'm assuming that was a creeper blast. Oh, duck underneath water. Hey, what's up, buddies? How y'all doing down here? Give me a second. I'm killing you. No, don't worry. This one. No, it's probably painful to get you know Octopus legs ripped apart? I don't Chopped off? I'm not too sure what this does to you, but, uh... All I know is I get insects in the end, and uh, that's all I really want. Oh, and I also definitely want some sugar. Give me some sugar, sugar. Give me some sugar, sugar. Give me some insects. Hmm. They respawned over here. 
Why didn't they do that before? Why did I have to go into the ocean last? With the respawning like hell. Oh my god. These guys are respawning like crazy. Before I had to go to an ocean and try to find these guys. Now they're just like in my back pool. Time to die. Die. Yes. Good success. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this guy took possession of my uh, my microphone and it ripped it away from exports. And it decided, no, you don't get to use my microphone anymore. I'm going to take control of it. So, uh, don't worry about that, guys. Everything's all good. Uh, so, let's go and up here. There we go. Okay, let's go and take out this minecart. Ah, uh, sorry. I lost one of my medium earbud thing. Yes, I'm talking about when you get these earbuds. And they have like the, the small, the medium, and the large. Me, personally, the... Uh, oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God, I didn't realize I didn't have that much light. Oh, goodness gracious, this is not going to end well. Oh, this is going to end in a bloody conflict, isn't it? Okay, let's do it. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, ooh, get out of here. Get out of here. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so there's a creeper up here, too. There's two creepers? Oh, my God, what the hell? I need to make more light pronto. Uh, okay, come come down the stairs. I don't want you to blow up anywhere, but... No, no. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. No, 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 don't blow up, don't blow up. There we go. Whew. Okay, so step one. Add some effing light up here. No more mops. Okay, no more mobs. Oh, see, there is three stages. They got this one, this one, and I think this one. Let's see. Yeah, I got two. Okay, so that's the final stage. Okay, so we're uh, we're living and we're learning. Okay, and bam. Okay, so really quickly, let's actually go make our speed potions because I think we're gonna be using this a lot. So one speed for you. I think you need one, correct? Yes. And then one for you. Bam. Okay, cool, cool. We're uh we're learning how to brew. But we definitely need to make some light down here because apparently it's way too dark. Anyways, back to the earbud thing. You'll be seeing me readjust these things, so the medium ones are usually for any brand that I get. The, the best suited one for me. And quite unfortunate what the frack? Um Quite unfortunately, one of my medium ones got lost, you know, while taking it in and out of my pockets. So, uh, yeah, I kind of kind of lost some of my, my earbuds, which wasn't really cool. So I basically had to put on the big ones because the small ones would just fall out. But these big ones just like, ugh, it is not a good thing. What? Can you only be placed on the ground? Really? That's a thing? You can't float in the air? That sucks. Um, oh, what about if I were to do something along these lines as I'm doing everything? Uh, do I have any nether bricks? Yes, I do, jackpot. Okay, I think this might work out in the end. I think, yes. Okay, good, good. This may be kind of a short standing thing, but let's put that there. No? It really has to be placed on the ground. Ah, oh, this is going to become a pain, isn't it? Okay. I'm fairly sure you won't destroy this, will you? Why don't you are the tallest thing I got? Okay. Let's see if this actually works. Whoop, jump. Whoop, jump. Oh, wait. I'm too close. Whoop, jump. Come on. Place. Why don't you be placed? Putting. Do you have to be placed on a, another solid block? Damn it. I don't. I'm sorry. Minecraft is uh, not my best game in the water. Ah, oh, man. I want to do jack o because I thought it'd be cool again. I guess not. Ah, oh, man. Redstone? Redstone doesn't cause any light. We already discussed this. But I guess I can always just do an old school maneuver. Uh, this isn't even even, is it? Or odd. So we got one, two, three, then three. So... This one would technically be the middle. So, wait. Can't you put 
torches on these things anymore? No? Oh my god, they're changing so much around me. Okay. Hell, I didn't want to do this. Ah, oh, this is just temporary, guys. Do we... Wait, really? Can I not place anything anywhere? Thank you. Thank you for the love of heaven, God. One of you guys love me. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to find a new lighting system. Uh, but for now, I guess that'll do. Uh, that looks so bad. <laughs> that looks so bad. We're going to have to fix that. We're going to have to fix that. Uh, okay. Uh, so we got the speed potions cooking. And I do believe the glowstone makes them more potent. Um, or stronger, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's go test that out slash do it right now. So now we got speed potions. Um, should, yeah, I guess making this faster is always a good thing. So we can always do that. Oh, we only need just the one. Okay, so now, right now we have uh, speed one, which will provide us with a 20% speed bonus. And after this is done, which should be right now, we get speed two, and I think it gives us 40. 40, yep, there we go. And it's, uh, it's for a minute. Woohoo, local brewery. Is anyone else alive? Aw, oh, no one else just seen my achievement. Except for you guys, because you guys are the special ones. You get to see my crowning achievement. So, hmm, what should we do with our newfound capabilities of brewing? Hmm, I think we should go for uh, a quick tour of the Mineshaft server in the sense that uh, I go show you everyone's house right before we uh, log off. Let's uh, go put a few things away. I'm going to probably, to be honest guys, I'm probably am going to redesign that area down there. It, uh, it's a little non-functioning right now, so I'll work on that. But let's go take a quick stroll around the Mineshaft server. Let's uh, actually pick up a weapon because we only need one. Oh, uh, sharpness, there we go. I don't care for the knockback, but I'll take the sharpness. Okay. Woohoo! Eat some food. And I'm fairly sure, since we move 40% faster, our food depletes 40% faster also. So, there we go. And bam. We might actually even drop this room down one, so that I can, uh, do some certain things that are... Shh, top secret. But, uh, we have enough potions. Let's... Let's check one. Boom, there goes our field of view. Woohoohoo! Wait, I like running with my hand open. Oh, guys, look at that speed. Look at that speed! Woo! Oh, dude, we launched so far with this. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, my goodness. I love speed potions. Oh, you run so fast with them. It's so awesome. Although, the field of view, if you run a, a height field of view, and then you put it on, it gets super intense. Me right now, I'll run 90. I think that's the the base standard for most PC gamers is uh, 90 field of view. And if you don't know, having a field of view actually is more intensive on your computer because it processes more things and it you know adjusts everything right then and there. So, you know, it's a thing. Plus, I like it. You know, when I see um, people who don't do it, it looks like it's zoomed in and like it's not really that you can't really see much at all. So uh, that's the spawn right there, guys. If you haven't seen any of your other videos, there's the spawn that we have going on. This is uh, Mark's hut right here. He doesn't really have much in here. It's kind of basic. He has three emeralds, which I have no idea how he got. Them. And he has 2014 TNT. No idea how the hell he got the 2014 TNT. Oh, apparently he has more TNT. My goodness. I didn't realize he was killing that many uh, creepers. Apparently he's planning to cook a whole bunch of stone, or cook the cobblestone and get stone. There is Ryan's house, um, or I play Prodigy, depending on how you guys know him. And let me actually show you the new addition to our server, which is right back here. This is uh, Nick. We haven't formally introduced him. I'm fairly sure he's already uploaded videos on it, but that's his house back there. We'll, uh, we'll probably introduce him very soon. Uh, oh, let me actually show you that field of view thing. So, as you can see, this is my normal field of view. If you notice kind of to the right back there, it kind of stretches out blocks, but watch what happens when I go down to normal. Where is field of view? It's right here. See, it doesn't look so much like zoomed in and like you can't really see much. To me, it looks radically different. Okay, 
So I'm going to put those blocks right there out of my field of view. So there it is. Now let's go and put it back to where I like it. And as you see, I see three more blocks. Before, I only seen like that. Now I see that much, which I really enjoy. And I think you get a, a wild perspective or a more perspective, more wider perspective. There we go. Had to think of the right way to phrase it. Uh, but yeah, so let's go check out everyone else's stuff before we leave. There is the Winning's Castle. Um, I'm not too sure if he has everything built in it correctly right now. I know that uh, last time I talked to him, he had some things that he wanted to update. Um, here's his chest room. Oh, he already has another chest. Nice. I think I'm one of the only few people on the server that does not have an ender chest. You know, I'm going to put something in there. So I'm not too sure if the ender chests are shared or if they're separate. I'm not too sure if that was a plugin or not. Once again, still new to Minecraft. Uh, let's go take a look at Andrew's house, which is, oh, he has updated it. Um, previously, his house was um, only located today. It's been a while since I've been over here. But now he has a horse thing, which... Oh, he hit a button. Nice. That's how you get through there. Um, Mochi's mailbox. What should I give him? I shall give him three speed potions. There you go, Andrew. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, let's see what else he got over here. Oh, yes, he has these automatic lights that when the sun goes out... Shh, don't tell anyone. But they're all synced up with the redstone over here so that when the light goes... It toggles the lights on, which I think is pretty cool. It's I'm not gonna say you know, oh that's so simple that anyone could do it, but it's uh it's pretty cool. I like it. It's uh something you don't see every day. Ooh, I'm assuming this is a uh, a mining system or whoa, is this TNT mining or something? Because it's pretty jagged cave. It goes very very far. Wow. Yeah, I think he TNT mined this or something. Because it's not very smooth. Hmm. I'll have to... Oh, no! That's why you always bring a pick. <laughs> um, I'll have to ask him about what that was all about. Later on. But let's check another speed potion. And let's go show you the the rest of everyone else's house. Whoa. Ah, what's going on? There we go. Show everyone else's house. dun 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 And here we go. Uh... I'm honestly not too sure what this is. This is uh, a fishing hut. I know that much. And I think over here is like an automatic fisher or down there was. I'm not too sure. This is a uh, this is a place where things go a little bit crazy. Yeah, down here. Honestly, don't know what lives down here. What? What's there's a whole bunch of random stuff and then free fill to move anywhere temporary. Place. Hmm. Ah, yes. And this over here, this fabulous medieval style house is just a Pafu's place. Or Chiz, depending on which you want to call him. Me, now that I know how to say his name, I always call him Chiz a Pafu. Man, everyone was already going Nether Warp before me. You know, I, I think since this is fully grown, Chiz a Pafu won't matter. You know, he, he won't mind that. You know, I'm just, I'm helping him out. I'm helping him out. You know, I'm, I'm replanting. I'm replanting. That's what I'm doing here. I'm, ooh. I didn't want to break it. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm kind of taking pumpkins, but these things will replant, so it's not really like I'm stealing them. Shh, but don't tell anyone. It's kind of a secret, just between me and you guys. But to make up for it, I'll put some stuff in his chest. Let's see. Uh, ooh, that's a good pick. I will put two speed potions in there, and half my iron ore, and a flint and steel. As a thank you for the nether warts and the, the pumpkins. But yeah, guys, that's everyone's house so far. Um, I'm not too sure if people have like branched out or anything. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm glad of the improvements. We got a lot of work to do on our house now. I thought it was the most advanced. It looks like a lot of these guys have uh, caught up. I've gotten a little bit lazy. But uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you guys uh, check everyone's channels out. Once again, everyone's channels who also place on the server that I've mentioned in this video. All down in the description. Check them out, guys. Anyways, I'm Uncle Jane. So, really, guy. Peace.